really quick, Stephen, if you're watching. I don't know if you can see it, but I cleaned out the last stock tank. And in there was this really pretty uh, red and black, almost veil Ryukin. Um, if you want that, I'll send that with when I send your other one. Who's down here, your other pretty one. So, um, so, I picked up from Amazon, I'll put the link below, this 80 watt linear piston, um, air pump, I have to stop saying, um, air pump, and I put this whole thing together in like two hours from start to finish. I need to get it up a little more on the end, but holy crap. The other one I tried was a diaphragm one and it vibrated so loud I could hear it through the whole house. This one I can't hear except for the bubbling. And I eliminated five surge strips, three extension cords, and a whole pile of air pumps. I don't even think that's all of the air pumps that I had running back here. Plus like five hang on the back filters. Really cleaned up the fish room. Uh, two thumbs up. I'll put the link on there for that. So uh, I do have that, that hissing is because I have one open to let off air pressure because I don't have all of my tanks hooked up yet. Um, I'm going to be rehoming my tropical fish. Uh, I just don't have the time. Here's my Gary Hater babies. I, you know that YouTube is not my job. I don't add pets and try and get views. I don't monetize. I just do what I like. And right now I just don't have time for tropical fish with what I want to do with my goldfish. You know, first off, I'm uh, first priority, I'm a mom. Uh, I have a house and, and a daughter to maintain. Second, I'm a nurse. I work way too many hours. You know, my hobby is third. So really, I just started doing these clips for me so I could track my babies, my breedings, my hatchings, take videos of my fish that I could watch when I had time but wasn't home or wasn't down in my fish room. You know, sometimes I would stick the, the GoPro down in my stock tanks and film a video and do a health check that way rather than pulling the fish out. So, I don't, I don't have time at the moment to, to maintain all the tanks that I want with what I want to do with goldfish. These are the babies I'll be bringing down to Jenny. You know, I, I brought almost all of my fish to Mike in trade. I only kept a select few. So she might not want any of, of these calico ones or my red and white one, but there's always next year. But I am going to go try and take video footage and bring her. I, it would be awesome if she really liked my metallic purpley one here because that's at, or one of the uh, calico ones back there One is one of my other favorites. But yeah, I basically just I'm trying to help educate people on the care of goldfish. I had, I helped Mike for three hours out of the three days he was there. He was there all day Friday, all day Saturday, all day Sunday, and I helped for like three hours, and in that three hour span, I had 10 people come up and ask about buying the little goldfish and say, well, they can stay in bowls, right? You know, it still astounds me with all the information available that people think goldfish live in bowls. And the pet stores have declined I flat out say that Walmart 20 years ago used to be able to buy nice humped Ryukins and broadtails and nice fish and now they get in crap deformed you know uh, stunted ill full of parasites most of the pet stores even the mom and pop shops don't get nice goldfish and you walk in there's like four tanks of dying fish and a bunch of cichlids because people have gotten out of goldfish a lot that has declined because people think that they're delicate fish and they're hard to keep and they're not you just need to give them you know minimum requirements and minimum water changes at least so rant over we'll see if jenny likes any of my babies next week i'll try and take a video uh, i've got 
three more tanks to set up in here and get my fish situated. And then, uh, run the air for the rest of it. And then, yeah, then I'll take another, another video on the fish room. It's all up and done.